Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I have a Paper Craft Society box to share with you. This is, I believe, the April box. Um, I waited until it was released. Um, so I don't subscribe to it monthly. I just kind of keep an eye on it. And if it's something I like, then I just keep my fingers crossed that they'll have... Because they, what they do is, if they don't all sell... They'll wait till everybody gets their box who's subscribed and um, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And then they'll take um, the remaining boxes and release them to the public to buy singly, which is what I do. Y'all know I am a sucker for anything that is ocean, nautical, beach related, anything in that realm. And um, I fell in love with this the second that I saw it. Um, this is from craftstash.com. Um, they also have a dot, I think what, dot co dot UK. Um, they are a UK company, but they do have a, they're kind of like tonic. They have a, a US site as well. And, um, the last one I shared with you guys was a, I think it was either last September or last October's box. And it was the Nutcracker and y'all know I love Nutcrackers. So that's the last time I got one of these. Uh, but uh, we're going to take a peek. I've already, I've already looked at it, so I'm already in love, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, I'm attempting to upload and post this on Saturday, but I have been having some really bad um, uploading issues this past week. So while the goal is today, Saturday, I, I can't even guarantee Sunday because it took me two and a half days to get the file to upload last time. The last one that I actually posted this morning, Saturday, was supposed to post Thursday and it took two and a half days to upload and it didn't matter how many times and how many ways I tried. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if YouTube is having like a bad week. I don't know. Anywho, let's get started. So uh, the box always matches the theme of the kit that is inside. Um, I love their boxes. Um, and it's, it's even Velcroed, so like if you want to save it for storage. And so, underwater themed cards have always been a favorite of mine. I hope you have as much fun making them as I do. Sam and Sam Calcott, she is the designer of this set. Um, so there is the main, and that's going to be mostly your, your dies, your specialty paper, and your stamp set in there. Here is my uh, invoice, so I'm going to set that to the side, and um, if you are curious, it's kind of on the pricey side, but I think it is worth it. So the kit is $39.99 US, I'm not sure what it is um, in, UK, in um, UK, and it's $10 shipping, $9.99, so $49.98 for this kit. Um, one of the reasons why I don't subscribe to it monthly and the fact that I don't like every kit. So it's just one of those I just keep an eye out and if I like it, then I grab it. So there is that. There's goodies in there. And then uh, I assume that's a generic code. So 10% off made to subscribe surprise at craftstash so yeah so craftstash.co.uk and craftstash.us um and i think made to surprise is a line and um so i, I don't know a lot about that so if you want to check it out sam 10 for 10 percent off and we're just gonna set this cute little box over here so we can just look at how cute it is off to the side I think we're going to start with what is in here and save this for last. So we've got some, they call them water drop heads, um, beads. I call these dew drops. 
Um, that's just what I've always called them, but they're clear. And I think with ones like, if you take Sharpies or alcohol markers, you might be able to color them to whatever color you like. So something to think about, something to try. Every kit comes with the little ink spots. So those are the colors. And then we have this cute little postcard. Don't rush it, create little masterpieces. So that's adorable. And then some tips for fussy cutting. I've already shared, basically everything on here, I've already shared with you guys. Um, and how I hold, weirdly hold my scissors. So we're going to set that over there. So it came, I believe it's two sheets. So maybe it's just one. I was hoping it was two sheets. I think this one you get two, and I guess in this one you only get one. We're going to take a peek. It's a really nice, like, holographic, pinky. So it's just one sheet of this, which is kind of a bummer. I thought it was two. So, but it's a really pretty paper, and I love, I mean, the way I'm holding it, see how it's got that yellow shift? And then it goes back to pink and some purple. So I really like that. I'd like some more of that particular paper. So I'm going to put it back in here to protect it. Get in there. Yeah, I'm really bummed it's just the one sheet. And all the papers are this size. So you're not getting A4, A5, or 8.5 by 11. Um, then you've got this glitter card that... Looks like there's two sheets in here. I will say it is very smooth. It is extremely smooth. Oh, we have two colors. So those are gorgeous colors. And I'm wondering if they're adhesive backed. They have a really weird... A really weird backing. Nope, they're not adhesive back, but they feel, I don't know, it feels odd. But love those colors. Um, I would like some more of that as well. So I think what I'm going to do with those is we are going to turn them like that. That way we can see both the colors later when I get to crafting with it. So there's that. Then you have the coordinating card stocks. Um, yes, I know I could tear it off, but I don't. I'm weird that way. I don't do it. Come on. Okay. And I think it's one or two of each color. So there's, we have kind of like, I think this is supposed to be kind of like a sand color. Then we have three shades of blue. So there we go. We've got our sand in the ocean. It feels like a decent weight. It is not a solid core. It does have a white core to it. So I guess if you want to distress it to get that white to come through, um, it's up to you. Um, I'm really not into that kind of effect. We've had that discussion on this channel before. So, any hoo ha. I'll just stick those over there. Then, each book, each kit comes with one of these books, like little booklets. And um, it kind of shows you everything that comes in the kit. And then um, you've got samples here made by the design team. Um, other items that are, so like these items here are from the Made to Surprise release. Um, so it's matching stamps and dies, and it looks like there's some interactive dies to go with it. So... That's what is inside this one. You can't see it all because like that one there's a stencil. And this is a, we're going to see in a minute, is um, some decorative vellum. I was really excited to see that the dies included interactive slides because 
Where are they at? Um, oh, they're further back here because I was I was checking this out last night. So this one, these two here, are interactive cards. So like the um, pufferfish, he kind of rolls around. But the way they cut it, so they cut the, the slit in, and then instead of throwing away that piece, they, they um, inset it so it kind of blends with the background, and he can still wobble around the front. And then this one goes side to side, so the submarine, we all live in a yellow submarine. There you go. Yep, I can't sing. We all know that. Um, but the submarine slides back and forth on this one. And then this one... I've always liked this technique, but I've always also been afraid to do it. But I think they put uh, either hand sanitizer or some kind of jelly liquid in there to uh, make the background look liquidy. So it's like there's like a Ziploc pocket or something with... with uh... Says... Okay, yeah, that's what they did. Fill a plastic pocket slightly bigger than the circle with a small amount of blue hair gel and seal well. So they're using hair gel to create like a liquidy black uh, black background. So who knows, maybe we'll do that sometime. Here they're showing you the different techniques as far as making the... Making like the little bobble deal for the submarine to slide on but remember I showed you these guys from MFT that do the same thing so and these actually slide better but technically this option is cheaper so anywho so I mean it's they're really detailed kits and that's you know, if I really like the kit, that's why I don't have a problem spending the little extra because you get a lot in it. Um, and I, you know, I think, you know, step-by-step -step instructions, they're colored. It's a nice, um, quality booklet and, um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't like every theme that they have, but I do love this one. So, and it's, so there you go. And they're just showing different um, cards here. They're doing a, I think this is a, um, oh, they're using texture paste and blue ink. Starting together until you have a blue paste. And then they put it through the stencil, which is included to get your waves in the water. So, and then they're showing some you know, other stuff that they sell. So that is included. Now on to these booklets. And I love these booklets as well because the spine shows what kit it is. And um, it says made to surprise, but it doesn't really, it just says the kit number. So box nine or 19. But then when you look at the envelope, you can kind of tell what's inside. So I love it. It's Velcroed. The inside is even decorated. Awesome. So here's the first little deal. So here's all of our dies. So here we've got waves and anchor. We have the sea ray. We have a little die here for like the gold tokens that go in the treasure chest. Um, the die, I think this one is for the crab, the submarine, the blowfish, a nautilus, the angelfish gems, coral, seaweed, clamshell, and the big uh, pearl. And then you have the interactive dies. So really well thought out. Um, really happy with this die set. Then our next two, here are our stamps. Let's see. Well, Let's do this there. You can see that better. So there are all the stamps. You got the now I have to say that the critters have like cartoony eyes, which I'm not necessarily a fan of, but it's so you know, I really like this, so kind of ignoring that. So we have different bubbles, more coral, um, 
a conch, submarine, again, fishies, underwater scenes. Have a fantastic day. Sending you birthday fishes. Let's celebrate good times. So fish, to Kated, it's officially your special day and long time no C-S-E-A. So, yep. Loving the stamp set. And then the rest of the kit. So you have the, you have a nice stencil here. So you've got, you know, different types of waves on the side. You've got like the underwater, like wavy rays here, more corals, some bubbles. So that we have two um, pages of the um, patterned have and it's heavy duty vellum. It's a real thick vellum. So I like that. And then we have these printed papers. So, so that's, so this here is what this here is supposed to mimic. It's supposed to mimic this like sunlight on the bottom of the ocean. So you, I think you get two of each page. Yep. Then you have this kind of like cartoony underwater scene. Another underwater scene, not as cartoony. And then you have all these seashells. I love this. I would love a ton of that. So that's the kit. Um, I am not affiliated with them. I did buy this with my own green papers. And, um, you know, like I said, I don't subscribe and get it monthly. It's one of those I just keep an eye out. But they do have tons of themes. So I will put a link down in the description if you want to go check them out further. Um, because just because I don't like all the kits doesn't mean it's not going to be something that is your cup of tea, if you know what I mean. Um, I really like highlighting the different subscription boxes out there. In fact, I had somebody reach out to me who's new to crafting and was asking about um, my opinion on craft subscriptions. Um, as y'all know, the only one that I am 100% um, dedicated to is the Tonic Craft Kit. Um, but um, for me, the monetary value is just, it's just amazing. Um, the monetary value, I will say for the, again, Paper Craft Society is amazing. Again, it is a pricier subscription kit, but I feel that what you get in it is well worth what you pay. Um, but like I said, you need to kind of go out there, search the history of them and see if it is something that you might want to subscribe to or not and do at, you know, like I do. And that is just keep an eye out, see what seems to be your style and go from there. But I've run my mouth now for 18 minutes. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Shoot me an email. Um, I want to, uh, put out there. I've got, um, my two hidden giveaways. I have not mailed out yet. Um, but they are going out, um, on Monday and then I have another box that's going out to a friend. It is going out on Monday as well. So ladies, if you're watching, I want you to know, I haven't forgotten. I've just, it's been really hectic here and I just haven't been feeling my best. So honestly, I just come home, do what I got to do and I go to bed. Um, so I think we got to check my go in and do more blood work and check what all my levels are again because I haven't been feeling the best lately so anywho uh I don't know I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe my sister when she gets here um she's actually going to be here in two weeks I'm pretty excited about it um this is my so I'm the oldest um this is my middle there so technically I have four siblings. Um, three of us are from my mom and dad. And then I have a half brother and half sister from my dad and his, um, his, and my stepmom. And, uh, 
but if you go by the three of us, I'm the oldest, and my sister Jenny, she's our middle, and she is the one that's moving here to Texas. So um, she had started a channel, and it was called, and it is, not was, it still is called The Happy Ponder because um, she is, adores koi ponds, and she actually does, makes beautiful koi ponds, and she does it herself. Um, and so she's really excited to get back, you know, get here and, you know, find their home, their permanent home and start her koi ponds again. So if that's something you're interested in, you know, just keep an eye out. I'm going to try and get her on my channel a little bit. And then once she, they and her husband gets here because she's coming ahead and, um, once he gets here and they're settled in. I have a feeling she's going to start going active on her channel again, um, but you can go check it out. Um, I will, she's only got a few videos on her channel, but it is called The Happy Ponder, and I'll put that link down in the description, and um, yeah, and like I said, she's, she's excited to get here. I'm going to probably um, stock up a whole craft room for her, and don't worry, I'm still going to have plenty to share with you guys. But, um, and she is an amazing organizer, so I know she's gonna, we're gonna get everything taken care of. So, anywho, I'm gonna let you guys go. Fingers crossed this uploads like it's supposed to. And, uh, with that, I love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.